Hello friends, my name is Patience and I am Patience Elizabeth Lifestyle. So this is my first YouTube video. I'm doing um, some lifestyle videos for you guys and it's going to include some grocery hauls and some recipes and now we're going to do a what's in my pantry. So stay tuned and join me for what's in my pantry. Hey guys! I'm back. So I was chatting to myself. It wasn't recording whatsoever. So here's a pan out of our pantry. So we are currently renting um, a place and this is our pantry. Um, this was part of the place and this is obviously where we do laundry so I apologize about the laundry there guys. But this is real life so if you guys are just joining my channel I'm Patience. Um, I'm going to be doing some lifestyle videos. I'm also a makeup artist as well too so we'll be doing some beauty videos as well. And it's all about mom life and making everything easy for, you know, for us moms. So anyways, we have two shelves. Um, so on the top shelf, um, we have a lot of, uh, you know, kitty cat food. So this is our kitty cat food area. Um, we always have that accessible because our cats get very hungry in the morning. I don't know if you guys have pets, but they are intense when they are hungry. Meow, meow, meow all the time. Anyways, so we always have our food um, ready to go on the, on the top shelf here. And then if you go pan right underneath here, we have like breadcrumbs and all of our canned goods as well too. So I love to have cream of mushroom soup on hand. Um, you know, it doesn't matter the brand, as long as it's on sale, it's a great price. Also some chicken noodle soup. Um, we've got some pasta sauces. And this sauce is one of my favorites. So this is an Italian um, pepper and pesto not pesto, a sausage sauce. Um, these were currently on sale at No Frills, uh, so they're $2 a piece. We also love, love, love the Classico brand of the Alfredo, so whenever this brand is on sale, because we all know it can be pricey, um, I always, always, always purchase this. So right next to it is all of our pasta. So I like to save money as much as possible on pasta. So I like to buy the no-name brand, and I find that it's the best cost-effective um, you know, price point as well too. And as having a family and for like, you know, my husband and my son who love pasta, and also me as well too. Um, it's $1.27 for a 900 gram bag. So you're getting like a really good amount of pasta. We also like to have a lot of spaghetti obviously on hand and fettuccine and all those kind of noodles. So um, those are something that's important to us to have on, st on standby just in case for quick meals. Um, also, uh, we go to Costco and we have a huge jar of peanut butter. Comment below if you guys are peanut butter, um, you know, somebody who loves peanut butter who always has to have it on hand. I'm not a huge fan of it, like I don't mind, but we like to have it on hand. Also, I'm going to pan over here and let you guys see all of the snacks. Now, I like to have a lot of snacks on hand for my son and for school lunches, but he doesn't, you know, he wants to eat all this as, you know, fast as he can because um, he's almost 11 years old and he's got an appetite all the time. So um, we always have goldfish on hand. The goldfish are on sale as well too. Um, we have like little cookies and some bear paws um, and then also um, some granola bars as well too. So two things of bear paws and some granola bars. Now uh, also a hack is if you get some crackers, um, I always like to save the little uh, sleeves that they come in like this. So we've got the Ritz and then also the actual goldfish. These make great uh, little storage containers for your snacks. So if you have kids who want to grab a snack on the go or if you want to be more organized, this is a hack I can give you guys as well too. And you can see, we just popped everything in through here. It's such a great idea and it, it saves on space and it saves on, you know, like the stress of trying to get, you know, snacks ready and what have you, especially for, you know, school time. We all know what that's like in the morning. <laughs> so to pan down here, um, I just organized our pantry as well too. So this is all nice and cleaned up. Um, but we have like, you know, some little sidekicks on hand. I know they're not the healthiest, but I like to have some on hand just to throw in with a meal if I'm trying to figure out, you know, a side dish. We also have some crackers and some um, taco shells and like uh, some croutons as well too. So I try to keep everything like in 
a flow area where everything flows into one, you know, one to the next, almost like a grocery like store really. And then we have some chicken broth and then some macaroni and cheese. Now the chicken broth is for uh, an actual um, crock pot meal, which I'm making for chicken noodle soup. So stay tuned for that. If you would like me to film that for you guys, I can do that as well. Um, we also have just this 12 pack of KD. Now being a mom and having a 10 year old who loves craft dinner, um, I always like to have it on hand and our local grocery store, No Frills, had it on sale. Uh, I think it's under $6 for 12 boxes which is amazing so as I said we've got our crackers now I just tried this brand to uh, townhouse by Keebler it's an okay cracker it's not amazing but it would be really good with spinach dip so if you're looking for something yummy and fairly healthy um, this one's not too too bad um, and we also have all of our like cookies and whatnot so I actually you're probably thinking base cell margarine like what the heck is going on here it's not actually. Um, this is a mom hack as well too. I like to put all of our cookies from Costco because we get these big sleeves of cookies and I find that, you know, no offense to my kids and my husband, but they don't like to close up the cookies. So I've been putting them in bags like this and bags like this and also in the empty containers. So that keeps them fresh and it keeps them, you know, easily accessible for everybody as well too. Um, so then here we have our baked goods and some snacks. So this is adult snacks, chippies. Um, but we always have like bagels on hand. So the bagels are on sale at No Frills all the time for 88 cents. Their bread's on sale, dollar eighty-eight, And we have got some hamburger buns, you know, and some sub buns for sandwiches for my son. And then we have some chips. I know they're not the healthiest, yes, I know, but we are human and we do like to have a few chips here and there, especially when we have people over. Now, on the weekends is usually when people like to pop over, so we always like to have some snacks and stuff as well, too. Now, to pan up here, there's some paint and stuff that's left over um, from the apartment, but we have all of my baked goods. I know it looks kind of messy, but it's actually pretty organized. It's just how big the actual bags are. Um, so there's brown sugar, and then there's also flour and regular sugar. So I keep everything all together for baking, really, um, you know, organized, just so when I decide I want to bake, I've got everything in one spot. And then we keep, like, paper towel, and then we have our uh, actual cereals. Now, Corn Pops was on sale. Um, it's one of those cereals that I find I used to love when I was young, but now as I get older, it's a little bit too sugary. So we bought it for the family on sale one time at Costco, but I'm finding that I'm not really gravitating towards it. I don't really like it that much. I'm not a big cereal person. Um, I was when I was pregnant, but other than that, you know... Um, you know, I don't really have it a lot, but also we have the Great Value. So I bought the Great Value version of Honey Nut Cheerios, and we're really liking that. Um, I find that it's very similar, almost the exact same, and for a huge, huge box, it's a lot less money. Also, my husband loves Honey Bunches of Oats, those are on sale. And then one time, you know, I had a craving of Captain Crunch when I was pregnant. Um, as you know, uh, I just, or as you guys probably don't know but I'm just gonna let you know I have a two and a half month old daughter and she was um, born in October so I find that I was craving a bunch of stuff at the end of my pregnancy so Captain Crunch is there but it's just been sitting there obviously it's not getting any use um, anyways so we'll just finish up this uh, pantry tour so we've got some candy canes from Christmas time now I was gonna throw those out but I thought I could make something with those so comment below or comment um, and send me a message you guys and let me know what can I make with these candy canes like I need to find something to use them with because I love the taste of candy canes but we've only got a couple left so maybe we could make some brownies as you guys can see also as well too, I have two packs of fudge brownies. I like to make those once in a while just for a treat. Um, we also have some uh, oatmeal, which I'm not a really big fan of anymore either. It's weird, as I get older, I've lost the taste of certain things that I used to love. Um, so if you guys can comment below and let me know what kind of oatmeal would be really good. Uh, I usually just gravitate towards one with brown sugar, but it's not my favorite. So um, let me know what your guys' uh, you know, favorite oatmeal is. And also, lastly, we have the Sheriff Pie Crust. Now, 
my mom is a huge uh, baker and she's really good with pastry. I'm not so much, so I decided to use up some of the apples that I had on, I got on sale, and I'm going to actually um, use that Sheriff's brand and make a pie, uh, apple pie. So I'll show you guys that in a video if you'd like, or I can give you guys the recipe as well too. So anyways, I want to wrap up this video. I'm um, just learning how to use this camera. We've had this little handheld camera for a long time and I've tried to vlog with it before, um, but it's kind of tricky. So I don't know if I'm talking to the monitor or if I'm talking to the camera. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is something new for me. I, I am a makeup artist, so I usually do a lot of beauty videos. So stay tuned for those. And I also do live videos as well, too, on my Facebook. So um, if you're interested in any, you know, different kinds of videos coming up, you know, grocery hauls and also, like, recipes and what's for dinners, let me know. And also I can do beauty videos as well, too. Um, so this is, channel is all about mom life and all about a family and I want you guys to be are my family and part of, you know, my, my family unit and what our real lives are like. So any uh, questions or comments, please let me know and also comment below as well too. If you could give this video a like and also subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated so we can get going and we can get some more videos out for you guys. Happy Friday, friends. It's TGIF, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.